Do you, yeah, do the T1, I think. That probably yeah. make more sense. Yeah. Can I just point out that the Brit said, do the T1. Um... <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hi, this is a highlight of the full stream. You can find a link down below if you want to see the entire thing. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the wrong one. Hang on. This is the one I wanted. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, off to a bad start. La yeah, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this Total War Live. We are here to play the Shaman King Mulu in the Furious Wild for Total War Three Kingdoms. With me today, I have Kuno and I have Matt, both designers on Total War Three Kingdoms. How are you guys doing today? Hi guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing fine. It's a nice day. Yeah, it, it is a nice day. <laughs> Unlike yesterday, which was terrible and rainy. Yeah. It is England, though, after all. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you get, you, get what, you get what you get when you live in this country, really, don't you? All right, let's, uh, let's get right into the game, right here. We're going to do 190, Rise of the Warlords, as Mulu himself. So, what is, what, what is Mulu all about? What, what's, what's his deal? Mulu's pretty fun, because he gets to play with a load of animals, and that's the main kind of thing there. Um, having lots of elephants, like you see there, he's already got an elephant mount on him. He can get a large amount of elephants if he gets his pride up. Uh, he will need to go and um, conquer Zhurong before he can get the tigers, mm. um, I believe. Um, but once he does that, he can have a large, large amount of them. Because for the other factions, it's usually capped at one or two. Um, Per faction, mm. um, but for Mulu, you can get a lot more. Um, so Mulu plus Tech Tree equals a, a, a lot of animal units. Yes, so we unlock the unit uh, Followers of Flame. Uh, we unlock Tiger Warriors and Tiger Slingers. There we go. Yep, one Tiger Warrior and two Tiger Slingers. So Indeed. that's the basic limit for everyone. Here's what happens when you defeat a tribe in uh, uh, the Furious Wilds, as another tribe, of course. To get the fealty of a tribe, you have to have to get them into your ranks. You can either confederate them, vassalize them, or just occupy them to get mm. their fealties. So it's basically the choices of if you want to be like a vassal lord or you just confederate everyone into your side, which if you do, then you even get, if I might be correct, but you can recruit their uh, heroes later on. It, what, once we get to some of the, 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 the cooler uh, characters, um, like uh, Ming Wu and Lady Zhurong, uh, we're absolutely going to confederate them because then we get those actual generals into our uh, yep. court and armies, which is fantastic. Um, so what do you guys think? What, what should we go with? Uh, I mean, this is a pretty minor faction, so it's not mm. going to be a huge deal. Uh, confederating might mean that your uh, cost of your court goes up, but it will give you some extra characters if you feel yeah. like you need them. We can also always fire people if uh, that's... Uh, <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. I usually go with Confederate unless I'm playing someone who I really want to be the Vassal Lord and I just let everyone on the borders protect me from outside. So I think right. Confederate yeah. should be a good choice. Um, right, so here we see, of course, we are in the middle we, with our uh, Elephant Sigil here. Um, but now we have the Yao Ji tribes, Yao Ji, I don't know, uh, here Confederated. Uh, we have their fealty, which means that their sigil lights up. And we get uh, extra prestige from all our fealties. We gain research rate. We gain income from commerce from these guys. Um, but we lose some diplomatic relations with the Han Empire. And who cares about them? They're smelly. They don't like animals. <laughs> well, you will care about them sooner or later. <laughs> yep, you'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> now that we've filled up this bar here, uh, we have the pride mechanic. Um, so essentially pride is kind of based on battles uh, and the idea is that you kind of go around defeating other people and the, the, the harder the, the, the battle, the, the, the bigger the enemy, um, the more pride you'll gain. Um, so essentially you just go around, uh, kind of conquer across the map, absolutely rampage around uh, and your pride will just massively increase. And then that means you get more animal units and cheaper animal units, and it's just all about the animals. She <laughs> does not like like humans too much, so defeating enemy characters then yeah. grants bonuses for your animals. Yay! Once we get up to uh, level two here, we can see that we have increased recruitment of animal handlers and elephants. Also, one one little uh, point to add there as well. Mm. That plus five, I believe that's per unit type, not just for all of them. So you can have a total of, so for that, just assuming you only have that, that would be like 10 tiger units in, in general, because you'd have the 
plus five for the uh, Tiger Warriors and plus five for the Tiger Slingers. With you can have just points. Tiger Army and a just, oh, yeah. ti just Elephant <laughs> Army. And with the Just Elephant Army, you can have every single uh, hero <laughs> on Elephant. Spoiler. Yes. Oh, that sounds, that sounds brilliant. And let's check out the Reform Tree here. So this is brand new for Nanman factions. So what's the economic tree about? Because it obviously is split in between. Uh, the economic tree is mostly focused on kind of like buildings and things like that, really. Mm. Um, so the Nanman are a little bit different in the way that the Nanman, the, sorry, their uh, buildings are locked specifically behind these kind of like tiers of, of, of this economic tree. But the uh, actual kind of like uh, elements, I guess you'd call them, you kind of got like the two um, building chains, one of which is kind of like more hand style and then the other mm. one is going to be more kind of um tribal and as we can see here on on each level here uh there are mutually exclusive uh, options if we pick ancestral farmland we're not going to be able to get centralized storage or vice versa if, let's say we got ancestral farmland and advanced metalwork we would then unlock uh, ancient heritage because um these options also give a a bonus at the end there, there are some people in the maybe YouTube community who are very min maxi, and you're going to be uh, uh, definitely picking depending on the the end. <laughs> maybe, yes. maybe, yeah. Uh, <laughs> maybe, may, maybe there are some who uh, you know don't will completely disregard the end at all um, and just pick the best of the three they can. All right, so uh, Kuno, what do we have in the military tree? Yeah, it, it has the same same uh, properties with the mutual exclusive like key. Uh, resource selections, but it mostly gives uh, uh, bonuses, uh, recruitment cost, and uh, and uh, limits for recruiting mm. the animal units and elephant, like uh, hand animal hunters and elephants. We have advanced battle tactics, which gives you a ton of uh, yeah. Han faction options here. I mean, we have a bunch of formations. I think one of the most important things uh, in the hand chain for the military as well um, is that if you do decide to kind of reform yourself and go more to the hand route. Mm. Um, your kind of like standard units won't be quite as powerful, um, ah. but because you're kind of reforming yourself, you actually get access to hand, uh, cavalry. So you actually get access to cavalry units, which of course everyone knows that the Nightman don't have it's in their standard roster. Yeah, they, they have no cavalry at all. They just have infantry and uh, elephants. There's, and there, there's no cavalry, only elephants. <laughs> Who needs yeah. cavalry anyway? They are what? capped. You can only have a certain amount of them. Yeah. Uh, see here. So even yeah. if you unlock that, you can only have four cataphracts. That's still because mm. you're kind of like having a, a mercenary contract. Um, um, if you're looking for cataphracts, you should just get elephants. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. Look, who needs horses when you can just have elephants stomp on people? Okay, so with the political tree, it's kind of about choosing uh, whether you want to work with the Han or kind of just like alongside them, I guess. So the idea is that you're kind of like trying to reform it in a way that shows that you can be a capable faction that should be taken seriously by the rest of the Han factions, really, instead of just mm. being disregarded as kind of like barbarians or people that live in the jungles and things like that. While if you go in the other route, you kind of get to be a bit more bandity, I guess, really. Uh, you get mm. to be able to do the mercenary contracts and things like that as well. Um, you get more kind of access to kind of like spying and, and um, uh, foreign assignments and things like that as well. So you can mm. kind of like disrupt uh, nearby uh, regions and things like that and just do a lot of sabotage and spying and things like that. So actually Mulu gains a uh, bonus if to the economy tree, if mm. I'm not mistaken. I think that's one of his first bonuses. Yes. So we can see here that uh, tribal tenacity would be five turns. All of these are five turns, where these are four turns. This looks very different for Nanman units. Um, let's start off with uh, the skills. Uh, what do you think? What should we go for here? Um, I kind of want to... He's very high on cunning, so I kind of want to continue with cunning, but... It all depends on what you want to build to his to have in his own retinue. Mm. Because if you're gonna have range units, then it would be fine. But honestly, the Nanman is not really big on having range stuff. It's more of a go and rush towards anybody. And then we have uh, one of, I think, the, the coolest additions is the personal goals. So um, normally we would see a skill tree here. This is, of course, very different. Uh, what, what are the personal goals all about? 
these are all like uh, more of a mini achievement sort of let's say so as you progress through the game and you and you naturally play through and do stuff you you will see that some of these thing things increase it's if if you kill enemy soldiers with this character personally then you uh -huh. gain more damage so if you fight and you yeah so basically it's, it's all about whatever you do is is make you better in what you do and we can uh, we can pin this mission here so that yeah. uh, we go all right this is what i really want to do and we can go all right mulu has two missions um beast tamer which um uh, increase the rank of cavalry and animal units in his retinue um gives him reduced upkeep for animal units and cavalry and in yeah, that's really good uh, guerrilla deployment once we get to 15 so we really want to make sure that we uh, uh, rank up uh, animal units and then we also want to uh, kill people with him so uh, let's make sure that we send them into battles right so i think is that all we want to do this turn oh hang on trade agreement there we go oh really 24 a hey, all right four gold to just do it yeah. <laughs> just go <Come> on <laughs> <laughs> there we go now end turn 30 minutes to click uh, and turn. Have you ever heard of yeah. such a thing? Oh yeah, definitely. I've seen I've seen some videos that take an hour. <laughs> Ritual of the Stone Forest. And so that's the other other um, unique thing of Mulu, the rituals. Yeah. He's really he's the shaman shaman of the of the Nanman. So he really taps into <clears throat> taps into nature and taps into different rituals with different okay. locations. Once you go there and visit ah. that that uh, spiritually powerful location, you being able to to do the rituals of that sort. So as you progress through the game, you gain new missions to get to, to the locations and being able to perform those rituals for different bonuses. So I really want tigers. That that's what okay. I feel like right now. Like I need some some cat friends. You know, I need to make some bomb YouTube videos here. So I feel like we should move towards Lady Jurong, who's here ish. You can do. It'll definitely take you a little while, um, and you might have to go through Mengfo to do it. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure you'll need a better force to do so. Well, um, I'm gonna at least attack a Hunan here, yep. and uh, yep. uh, and we'll we'll see what happens after that. Um, all right, let's let's get some more peeps into our uh, elephants. Uh, yeah, I want to get more elephants. They're so expensive, though. <laughs> They're so expensive. It's a one-time cost. It's fine. <laughs> That's 379 per turn. <laughs> We're making 1300 here. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to replace these guys with nice. elephants. And replace nice. you with an elephant. And all of a sudden we make half the money. Small units on the southern elephants. Small is a relative term though. Speaking of <laughs> elephants. Hey! We got the, the rituals. The ritual begins. Hmm. Yeah. Um, and so we have to choose one. So we have the Ritual of the Ox available to us, or Ritual of the Elephant. Yeah, until you you're, you're have multiple uh, settlements, or yeah. you actually want to build something really big on mm -hmm. the next two, three turns, I think that's that's a better choice for now. Um, um, ritual of the U River. If we go here, we, we could get another ritual. And then you can check what the ritual does. Ooh, population growth and food production, but reduce income from also. Oh my god. All right. They mm. all come with a very bright bonus for mm. a very sharp downplay. Yeah. And is it time to go to war? I think it's time to go to war. That's it's the spirit. To... Yeah. There we go. Oh, th this is terrible lighting conditions to. Uh, uh, yeah. To showcase, sure. yeah. Yeah, yeah, but whatever. <laughs> so, um, actually, you know what? I'm going to do this. Oh, so oh cinematic. cinematic. <laughs> yeah. So here we have Mulu on his elephant. Yep. we got... Um, what are Unique these? painting. Oh. These are the southern elephants here. Um, and then we have the war elephants here. The southern elephants are smaller and have only mm. one... Have one guy up on the how in the howdah, and then we have Naman Slingers, which are our primary um, ranged units. They're uh, quite different. Ranged. To, uh... <laughs> 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 yeah. Well, compared to you know the Naman Warriors, they're ranged. Yeah. You know what I'm gonna just. What, That's what the spirit. Gonna... Yeah. What are they gonna do? It's elephants. 
Yeah. Well, the, 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 the axe guys will surely get thrown around, but the spearman can actually brace and, and, and reflect, mm. so that will be dangerous for you. Yeah, the key to the elephants is to is to make them not stand and fight, just mm. to make them go around and smash people and knock everyone back. Oh, no. Because no, otherwise they won't charge. Yeah. Yeah, they are very vulnerable to Yeah. To be sapphire. Oh. That's fine. They're in combat now. <laughs> Just let them go through. Just yeah, let yeah, them yeah. go through. That's. Well, there we go. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, look at those slingers. And then we'll. Uh, and they are all running. Yay. There you Elephants. Me? Oh. Because. <laughs> Elephants. <laughs> so, so the the main the key thing that we are we were aiming to when we created these units that that they can't really stand chance versus the Han in like a just like a general front to back combat mm. so they that they have to have means to 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 disrupt the enemy and the, one of the disruption main disruption forces are the elephants right yeah the yeah. other one is the tigers with scare so that was the combat right <laughs> yeah that, that was all of it <laughs> you, you lost like half of your elephants for it's fine don't mind that that guy or that guy yeah. they're fine <laughs> they're taking a nap okay yeah. <laughs> they're perfectly <laughs> By the way, uh, I'm not sure if you've discussed the uh, like miasma um, thing on stream yet. So it might be worth me actually kind of like quickly talking yeah, absolutely. about that. So you'll see on the on the actual uh, names of the um, of the towns and things like that. You've got like like kind of little um, vine. Yeah, there we go, mm. the vine eye. So essentially, all of the kind of like traditional Nan Man environments, uh, they'll have um, kind of like dense jungle essentially. And the idea is that is that uh, the, the Nan Man know their way around all these places. Like they know all like the, the you know the, the areas that you'll get stuck in, the swamp lands, the I don't know like the, the poisonous rivers and things like that um, that they should try and avoid. While the Han don't. Um, so essentially, if you have Han uh, armies that are in these regions, they'll kind of get like stuck and they'll end up being uh, negatively impacted by these things. Mm. While the Nan Man will get all these bonuses. So you see you see that like. Uh, extra movement range and things like that. In battle, that also uh, manifests itself in the kind of miasma um, ability. So yeah. if you place all of your Nanman units in forests in one of these traditional Nanman regions, yeah. um, you'll get bonuses there, while the ha hand will also get extra negatives for being inside of a forest on top of the ones they usually have. So it's really beneficial if you're being attacked by hand um, armies just to stick yourself in a forest and hide there. One of the questions was about the armor that the Nan Man have. The, uh, I assume that's they're talking about the Rattan armor. So if you go any of the Nan Man units, I think the ones with the Rattan shields, so for example, Nan Man warriors, you, you see the first icon there is the, is the fire icon. It's mm. the minus 100% fire resistance. So their armor is the Rattan armor, which is very sturdy and it's mm. very light. So they are actually really good, but their downside is this, this that uh, they are vulnerable to fire. You know, that that's great considering who we're going up against. Uh, you know, the, the lady with the followers uh -huh. of the flame. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. But don't worry, don't worry. Elephants does not have Rattan armor. So it's all yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> and we have elephant taming. Woo. Awesome. Ooh. Yeah, and trumpet is actually awesome. Like trumpet is the ability that yeah. most of these elephants have. That's a really nice debuff yeah. when you're in the heat of the battle. Yeah, we well, can see here uh, Mulu's southern elephant uh, has a trumpet, but also has stomp and gore because once you uh, mount an elephant, you disable character abilities, dueling and dismounting in battle. Um, so, uh, so we've given you a little bit extra stuff to uh, tide you over. Um, yeah, I really should have used uh, uh, gore and stomp in the last battle. She didn't have chance. The battle yeah. was over before that. You, you know what? Good point. Thank you. You had no chance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for giving me anyway. the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Are there any good questions, or is chat being silly? Uh, it's mostly just Jacob making fun of me, I think. Um. <laughs> it's it's great. You can come back next week because Jacob is going to be here. Uh, so you can be Oh, that's true. Oh, him. yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> I can just jump in and just start making fun of him for the next stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, he comes at me. He attacks me. Oh, interesting. Um, I'm going to make sure that Mulu gets those uh, uh, kills that he need, so desperately oh, yeah, needs. Definitely. 
Look at that. Oh, so <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> Can you tell that I make trailers for a living? <laughs> <laughs> I spend right. half my time in game just taking screenshots anyway, so I feel that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you you were uh, you were the uh, original author of the uh, the 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 camera mod. I'm, uh, I'm remembering yeah. things now. Yeah, yeah. Well, you need a camera to take screenshots. <laughs> Make sure you guys don't. Bye bye enemy units. <laughs> yeah. Good. There you go. You just routed two units in one charge. Nice. <laughs> oh, love them so much. The slingers actually don't do a bad job of, of causing damage. You just have to make sure you're in the right area. They also do yeah, um, yeah. rapid fire as well, I think, which helps. Because mm. while they don't, obviously their range isn't that long and they don't do a whole lot of damage compared to a lot of the missiles, they do yeah. kind of like stop the other unit being as effective, which is a bit, you know, yeah. it's better than nothing. Alright, you seem to be doing pretty battle. good for you so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, ooh. Jurong is about to, uh, to attack. Fantastic. Decisive victory. We're gonna win. And Nina Nina and Jurong right there, who was about to attack. Ooh, we we to uh, there we go, wonderful. Confederate. Here we go. Um, oh, oh, she, first, she, she wanted wants peace. And then uh, she wanted fight. This was a last ditch effort. I guess so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my mm -hmm. god, what, what, what is this map? I've never. This it's is an interesting a... one. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Look, I'm really glad I'm the defender. I would not want to attack up this oh, hill. Is. <laughs> that is interesting. I have not seen that before. Nope. Uh, okay. Can't see an elephant trying to run down there. <laughs> Like a ninety degree cliff. Talk about Hannibal. We need to we need to get this guy an elephant. I mean the, the, that horse is pitiful. Look it looks so tiny compared, look at it, which is <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's like a little baby. Oh and by the way, uh, anyone can have elephant mounts if they have an elephant mount. Like mm. it's not just Nan Man factions that can yeah. ride elephant. You can give it to anyone you like. As long as you, you could potentially one. have Lu Bu on an elephant, but I don't see you why you would. For the cool factor? I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I guess so, for the cool factor. We can see the tigers here. Oh! <laughs> uh -oh. Fell down. Tigers coming in. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we're in snow, of course. Yes. Jurong is taking great uh, advantage of her fire archers here. Yeah, being able to hide in forests is all well and good until you start setting those forests on fire. <laughs> oh yeah! Ah, oh, you idiot! Oh no, our elephants! Oh, routing! Oh dear! Oh no, our elephants! Oh my God! Yeah. You're wrong. You, you, you can't throw them at literally everything. I mean, they are pretty good. Oh no! But they have to do it. What? I thought they were OP. <laughs> <laughs> well, a little bit. Dong <laughs> uh, Show belongs in an elephant. Now that is a sight to yeah. see. No, that that's <laughs> absolute. We were using our elephants to absolutely yeah. demolish. Yeah. Absolutely demolish, and I didn't want to give the impression that you know, if you have elephants, you would just win. So mm -hmm. if you uh, if you encounter elephants, slow them down, put some ranged on them. They're gonna fall like like ours did. I mean, we we we've, we've effectively lost this battle because uh, I mismanaged I my elephants. Ah uh, no. Like All right. Well, that, that was uh, uh, what I wanted to do with that, so... Uh, <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, I want to thank everyone for joining. Matt, thank you for joining. Of course, Kuno, who uh, uh, is... I was going to say he's not with us anymore, but that sounds like he died. <laughs> um, I hope not. He leaves the stream, we take him out behind the shed. Anyway, oh my god. Yeah, any last words? That sounds like I'm going to kill you again. I think we should just end it. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>